Good morning, beloved saints. Um, I want to continue here on the relationship with each other. And, you know, I find it's better when we make others our purpose. You know, when we serve the Lord and when we're there for other people, it gets us out of our head for our own, you know. It makes our world bigger. But I want to go over uh, Philippians 2 here. And just some very practical advice he gives for us. And it says... And starting in verse 2, it says, Fulfill ye my joy, this is chapter 2, that you be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. And this is in regards to the gospel. This cannot be changed. Now on secondary issues, we'd like to be of one mind on everything, but we can't all be because every one of us are in a different place as we're growing and learning, right? And... We need to come together and talk these things out and search the scriptures together and hopefully come to like mind. But if we can't, it's more important to love one another. And it said, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind. And I'm I'm trying so hard to be aware of that because I have a large personality. I have, I'm a big presence. And I don't ever want to overwhelm someone. And it's come to my realization a few years ago that that can happen. So I try to be very careful so that I don't offend when I don't mean to. And sometimes my zeal can get mistaken for anger. And so I try to be aware that that's a weakness in me, right? And so it says, but lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves so what i try to do is remind myself you want that person to feel he's more important than you are and i want people to walk away with that in any kind of relationship with me and if i fail at that i'm sorry i'm human but i really do want to do that and it says look not every man on his own things but every man also on the things of others and that means, don't just think about your problems. Think about others' problems. What can you do to be a solution for someone else? Right? Bear one another's burdens, thus fulfilling the law of Christ. What can we do? Let this mind be in you. Jesus thought about the burden of the entire world he put on himself to redeem us. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And then it goes on. Who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men, even though he was God in the flesh. He belittled himself even lower that his creation he put his creation above himself even though he was equal with God he lowered himself and lived as one of us God manifest in the flesh and became the servant and was it came in our likeness and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Praise the Lord for that. So if he can suffer that humility or allow that humility for himself we certainly can and I know it's really hard you know we all want to think we're humble but it's really hard to be not that because I'm so great it's hard to be humble it's not like that it's really hard to lower yourself and let someone think you're little like I remember when I would let people think I wasn't as smart as I am because I was southern I got to hear everything. Like in the in the office and stuff, I learned the business. I learned uh, I learned the business because I wasn't a threat. 
So it benefited me to humble myself and act lowly and let them think I was stupid. I mean, that was like my thinking anyway, but that's not what this means, right? That's not what this means. We do this because it's genuinely the right thing to do. Nothing feels better. Brother Luke said the other day, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And that's true. We need to show up with care for people and listen to them and be willing to, you know, belittle ourselves. On the movie set is the worst place in the world because everybody wants to be something greater than they already are and they will not belittle themselves. Well, that's not my department. I don't do that. And I know you've seen that in other companies too. So I would do it as the boss, as an example. So I'm out there giving Gatorade to the hot extras because I don't think a lady that's helping us on a movie should struggle with baby twins and not have something to drink in 115 weather. You see what I mean? We humble ourselves. I was the highest on the set. I was the boss. I bet people popped up quick to do it from that day forward. So, here's the thing. We need to really recognize when we're not putting people first. Other people. And it's hard because I get ego too. We all do. None of us like to be wrong. You know, there's a lot of ways we don't want to do it. But this is who Christ in us is. Now, if God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, who knows all things and is the most powerful being ever, 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 can humble himself, we certainly can. So, it's just an encouragement. We're starting out the week with encouragement because what happens? God elevates us. He elevates us. I love what he says. God has highly exalted him. Because he humbled himself, God exalted him. It's wonderful. We could, God can do way better than we will at exalting ourselves. And I know it's the opposite of what the world says. Because the world tells you to boast about yourself. Look at all the songs about, I'm the greatest, I'm this, Muhammad Ali, I'm this, I'm that. That's, that's the opposite of what we're supposed to do. See, we work. Th this is not the kingdom we dwell in. So I'm hoping to talk about the kingdom uh, soon. But this was on my heart today. Encourage you. Reach out today. Think about someone. What can I do for you? How can I be of service today? Think on what other people may need. And if somebody does that for you, it just makes you feel great. It really does. God bless you guys. Have a great day.